Hello guys and gals, and this is a movie review for the Super Mario Brothers movie. Um, I'm really glad that Nintendo basically allowed their IP to be used again. I know that they regretted allowing it to be used um, back in the 80s when the first movie came out. I have never actually seen that movie, only clips from it and how abysmal it looked and stuff like that. I don't think there's anyone out there that actually liked that movie. And it basically canceled any um, any plans that Nintendo had for distributing their IP to anybody else outside of their jurisdiction. I think that, that Rick Riordan learned that too when he basically let Fox use um, his IP and he didn't really have any creative input in that. And... Um, Honestly, I thought his movies were pretty good if they were named something else and didn't really have anything to do with the source material. Because if you've actually read the books, then you'll realize the movies were way off base. But this that's completely off topic. Um, the Super Mario Brothers movie, I thought, was amazing. Uh, the new one. Not the old one. The new one. Um, as a kid, I used to watch the... Um, the Super Mario Super Show. So I and I was really into Nintendo. Um, used to play, you know, the Super Mario Brothers game all the time, because I had a Nintendo that I got like from a yard sale or something. I would never buy consoles brand new. I'd always get them secondhand or from yard sales. And um, I think I, the only game I had was like Super Mario Brothers, you know. So I would play that all the time. But um, so I've had a lot of experience with Mario and stuff like that. And and I used to just love the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. Um, I would, um, I think that it was a couple years back. I actually found the show, you know, episodes of the show, like on D on DVD, like at Dollar General or something, you know, because they get an assortment of movies and videos there. Um, and I bought some of those. There was only like a couple episodes per you know, per DVD. So it wasn't like it was the whole season or anything like that. But those were um, a nice trip down memory lane. Um, I don't remember who the um, who played Mario in the um, the Super Mario Brothers Super Show. But um, I will check here real quick. Looks like it was Captain Lou Albano, according to two sources. Um, I was thinking it was probably maybe like that Martin A guy that did the voice for Mario in the games, but I guess it wasn't. Um, I know that it was um, John Leguizamo that played Luigi, I believe it was, and I think he was upset that he didn't get asked to, you know, portray Luigi in this movie. Um, but um, to be honest, he usually portrays bad guys, and so he'd probably bring a, you know, the wrong vibe to the movie. But um, anyways, I did, I did love him in um, Violent Night, though. He did a really good job as the villain in that. But anyways, um, he kind of is getting typecast as a villain. So if he wants these good roles, he needs to start, you know, not being the villain so often. But um, anyways, I honestly think that the, the cast was top notch. Um, let's see it. Chris Pratt was Mario. And it started out that people didn't really like Chris Pratt being Mario. I always thought that he'd be a good Mario. And I, I always had faith that um, he would you know, be awesome. And he was for sure. Um, people thought that, um, what is his name? Martin A. I don't remember what his first name is, but, um, the guy who did the voice of Mario should play Mario in the movie. But, um, I honestly felt that Chris Pratt was a good fit for this movie. Um, Jack Black as Bowser was perfect. Um, uh, let's see Keegan, Michael Key or whatever his name is. I, I not familiar with what he's from, but um, he did an amazing job as Toad. Um, then Luigi was, um, yeah. I'll think of it here in a second. But anyways, also, um, I don't know what Anya, whoever played Peach was. I don't know what, what her cr credentials were, but um, she did a really good job as Princess Peach. Um, I, really, I really wonder who, who did the voice of Kamek, because that was really cool, too. But um, I don't know if I even actually saw that name in the credits where they didn't really highlight it, which I thought was kind of strange because I've always really liked Kamek as well. Um, anyways, let's see. 
Oh, Charlie Day. That was it. Charlie Day as Luigi. I knew I knew I'd think of it if I kept rambling on. Um, he did an awesome an um, an awesome and amazing job as Luigi. But um everyone actually did a really good job with voice casting. And I think that it was top notch. Um, I'm really glad that Nintendo reached out to Illumination or vice versa. I'm not sure who did what, but um, even Koji Kondo did um, a collab with them as well to make sure that the music was authentic and stuff like that. And it was, it really was because they would input, you know, the music from the games into the movie and it would be really nostalgic. And it really was. Honestly, I think the movie has basically um, broken most of the, uh, the movie record set for an and for an animated movie usually those were like set aside for like disney or something like that i think frozen was like one of the movies that made the most money or something and i forget what the second one was but i think it was a also a disney movie and both of those i think got blown away by the super mario brothers movie so i'm pretty sure they're probably going to have um, a sequel um i'd probably say luigi's mansion maybe or even one that has to do with Link, though I've seen or read articles about people saying that they probably shouldn't go to Illumination to do the Link movies, but I don't know. They they should go wherever they like. Um, I think the gist was um, that Illumination is good for cartoony movies or things that have a set environment, Mario running from point A to point B and stuff like that. With an open world movie, they would probably need a different studio. But I don't know if I actually agree with that. Again, that was probably one person's opinion. But um, anyways, I'm looking forward to seeing more Nintendo movies because I think the the IP, the intellectual property, is um, really, really popular right now. And they could really stand to make quite a bit of money off that. Anyways, um, I thought the movie was very well paced. And um, I really liked that um, it was set in Brooklyn, basically because it was nostalgic to the Super Mario Brothers Super Show back from the 80s. And that was really nostalgic for me. Plus, there was tons and tons and tons of Easter eggs. I mean, um, someone needs to go through and actually find them all. But there's probably a movie to do that would probably be longer than the movie itself was because there is like Easter eggs everywhere which was pretty cool. It was like Easter, literally. <laughs> but anyways, um, the pacing of the movie I thought was really good. Um, it didn't have any downtime that I found. Um, I never found myself wa- looking at my phone or anything like that because I was watching at home, not at the movie theater. So don't be, you know, oh, you should be using your phone at, at a movie theater. I don't exactly wa- ever watch movies at a movie theater because I find movie theaters, they always have sticky floors. That always annoys me because I don't like sticky and um, usually they keep the thing so dang cold, I always get a cold after any time I leave a movie theater. So I pretty much have vowed never to watch a movie in a movie theater ever again because they keep them too cold. And um, they're too loud, for one thing. I'm sensitive to loud noises, and they're just way too loud, movie theaters. So, um, yeah. Um, I usually just wait till the movie comes to Redbox. I rent it, and when Redbox is willing to sell me a movie, then I'll buy it. Usually I save money by renting a movie than buying a movie from the machine. That's usually the way it works. And um, that's probably why I have so many of the new movies, but I just haven't watched them yet. Um, I didn't buy this one because Redbox wouldn't sell it to me. So (laughs) there's that. But they will eventually. I mean, I have Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, the the Blu-ray. I have Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, the DVD, all from Redbox. Um... I can't even watch Blu-ray movies because I have a Blu-ray player, but I'm just too lazy to hook it up to the TV. And I've had it. It's just been in the box for like two or three years now, just sitting there because I'm too lazy to hook it up to the TV. Anyways. Um, Plus, I just like watching things on my laptop and my laptop doesn't have a Blu-ray player. So it's like, okay, I guess I just won't watch Blu-rays. Anyways, I thought the movie was great. Um, I know this review is getting a little bit long. Um, the music score was amazing. It, it, impl- it, it included nostalgia and the, the video game music was in there. It was very well rendered. Um, 
Um, I was a little bit confused about the ending. This is a no, this is a no spoiler thing. I was kind of confused about the ending. Um, I'd like to discuss that with someone who has actually seen the movie because I didn't under, really understand how it ended. I didn't understand the ending. But other than that, I thought the movie was really, really good. Um, anyways, um, well, I don't mean the post credit scene. The post credit scene was obvious. But um, I mean the ending ending but otherwise i thought it was a very good movie um chock full of easter eggs and i thought that nintendo did a really great job illumination did a really great job i like illumination um every movie i've seen by illumination i thought was really good i think they did the secret life of pets they did sing i have seen two but i haven't watched it yet um i've seen the secret life of pets i've seen the secret life of pets two I thought that they've they have a very good track record when it comes to movies, and they really blew this one out of the ballpark. In fact, this year has been really good with um, Puss in Boots: The Last Wish, which I hear is really good. But I own both the DVD and the Blu-ray copy of that, then and I'll watch that eventually. But I hear that one blew everything else out of the water, and then the Super Mario Brothers movie came, and then they blew that out of the water too because every all the movies so far. Or there have, there have been several movies this year that have been really, really good. And that's a, that's a good sign. It's really good to see animation, you know, doing so well in the theaters. Um, especially as a person who does never go to the movie theaters to watch movies. For the reasons I stated earlier. Just that, I, that movie theaters annoy me. To no end. That's why I very... I think the last movie I actually saw in the movie theater was like probably Avengers Endgame or something like that. You know, the, the second one. It was Infinity War that was Endgame. It was Endgame was the last movie that I saw in the movie theater. And um, I don't know. I would just kind of like that to be the last thing I remember seeing in a movie theater, I guess, because it was kind of an epic experience. And the floors were sticky and it was cold. And yeah, it was just too loud. That's just my complaint with things in general. Anyways, um... Too Long Didn't Read, TLDR. This is a great movie. You should check it out if you haven't already. It's over at Redbox. It's probably still in movie theaters. I don't know. I haven't checked at Macomb if it's still there or not. But I would assume it is. I mean, they play movies over there until they basically... Until people quit watching them, I guess. Um, so, yeah. I honestly felt this movie was exceptional. Um... And it's been breaking records left and right, which is really, really good. And, and I'm really happy to see that. Um, I thought all the characters were really fleshed out. Um, one thing I really liked, I'm going to probably leave this as a capstone, the pinnacle of entertainment. Um, i going to leave this as the capstone is um, that they've kind of reworked Peach's character, Princess Peach. And I kind of like that. They kind of empowered her. She was kind of really, really, you know, cool. She wasn't like this helpless damsel in distress like she was in the in the games, you know, where Mario had to come save her, you know. Um, and I like that um, she was empowered and I like that they, you know, she was kind of take charge and stuff like that. I, I really like that attitude of hers. Um, they tweaked her character and made her a lot better. I know that um, she was also in um, the Super Smash Brothers. You know, they added her to, um, I believe it's Ultimate or, you know, whatever the last Super Smash Brothers was. So she already has the fighting skills, you know. Um, and so, yeah, I, I really liked how they, they tweaked her character and made her, you know, really, really very, very capable. Um, she wouldn't back down and, you know, I loved it. So in short, this is a great movie. You should watch it if you want to. If you even if you're not a big fan of the Mario franchise or the Mario, yeah, the Mario franchise, then you should probably watch this one because it's pretty cool. But that's just my opinion. You can either take my opinion or leave it. Either way, it's fine. If you like this content, make sure you like and subscribe. Ring the bell so you know I upload. Also, if you want to support me in any way or if you want to join the Discord server, all the information will be in the description below. And as always, thanks for watching, everyone. You are loved, and have a great day.